those are today's scales. Here's the arpeggios. So that's A flat major and D flat major, and the chromatic scale starting on A flat. So that's the practice for today, for Thursday. Um, let's just look at those then. So we've got A flat major, first one. flat major has four flats. So we can draw them here. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. Um, and the bass clef that would be then here. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. That's the key signature of A flat major. Four flats. So if I just draw in the notes we would get A flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat. Get rid of the stem there. Oops, that should be down right, shouldn't it? The rule is once you cross the middle line, the stems should go down. So there we go. A flat major in the bass clef. C, D, E, F, G, A. Get rid of that. Dun, 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 dun. Sure. All right. A flat major. So with the fingers, if you can see, I'll do it here. Um, we're going to put our thumbs on C. Usually our thumb stays off the black keys. So we use our longer fingers to start this scale because the first two notes are black notes. So we go A flat, B flat, thumbs on C. Now we've got to come over with the fourth finger in the left hand. So the left hand by itself. So the fourth finger has to come over there on the D flat to get those four notes before the final A flat. So your thumb is on C and on G. Fourth finger on D flat. In the right hand, we have the thumb on C as well. Um, but then we have, we're going to put our thumb on F. So, fourth over. So try that. Um, I'm just going to give you a listen to this metronome. You should find the metronome on your keyboard. Um, so this is the minimum tempo that you'd be expected to play in the exam. So this is the very slowest. So that would be. So that. So you can aim for that tempo, but before you get there, I wouldn't go anywhere near that speed until you really know what you're doing with your fingers. That's the most important thing. There's no point in rushing and stumbling. So what you want to do is train your fingers really well to do exactly what you want them to do. Okay, so for that reason, I would do it hands separately to begin with and see if you can just get it nice and steady and nice and slow. Like that. Cool. Now, the uh, arpeggio, actually, no, we'll do the arpeggios later. 
Next up, D flat major. So same idea. This one's a bit easier because your thumbs go in the same on the same keys. So your thumbs go in F and C. Okay. So we get this. Okay, so that one is actually a little bit easier. You're playing all the black notes and your thumbs go on, a, on F and C. So let's have a look at that. D flat major um, has got five flats. Okay, so D flat major. Find my hand guy here. Um, that's got five flats. So we've got our B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and then G flat as well. So five flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. So D flat major would be D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C, D flat. <laughs> So that's D flat major, thumbs on F and C together. So that one's a bit easier. And again, at that tempo. So that's the tempo to aim for. Um, and I wouldn't, as I say, wouldn't go anywhere near that tempo until you can do it really smooth, okay? The speed will come. Just trust that. <laughs> trust that it will come. But um, like with anything, if you go too fast and you're not doing the right movements, um, we're only using our hands here, so you're not going to hurt yourself like you might do in you know, gymnastics or something. If you went too fast into a, a movement, you could actually hurt yourself if you're doing it wrong. But... Um, with this, you, you're going to learn bad habits if you do it too quickly, too soon. So do it really slow. And just really think to yourself. Even say it as you go. I'm going to put my thumb on F here. And then I'm going to put my thumb on C. And I'm going to come back down. My four fingers going over here. My thumb's on F. And my third comes over. So kind of say it to yourself you don't have to say it out loud <laughs> in case anyone's listening and thinks you, you've <laughs> just uh, gone too far into piano practice but just you know say it to yourself I, in fact you know nobody's gonna mind if you say it out loud I think it's a really useful thing to get used to talking yourself through what you're doing and so it doesn't become mindless you don't want your music making to be mindless okay Okay, so the very last thing in terms of scales is the A flat chromatic. So with the chromatic scale, your third finger goes on the black notes, your thumb goes on the white notes. And then when we come to two white notes in a row, we use our second finger. But we never allow our fingers to cross like this. Okay, so say for instance, when I come to in the right hand, I'm coming up. Right, my second finger goes there. So then my third finger is able to go to the black there. So then when I come back down, what I don't want to do is this. Put my thumb down first and then cross over the second. You can get away with it, but it's bad practice and it will... Um, It'll trip you up, okay? Um, just believe me that your fingers are much, um, they're much more able to learn things when they go in in order, yeah? So that for that reason, we 
bring our second finger down here. Thumb. So the fingers always come in order and they never cross over each other. Okay, so both hands together, that would sound like this. I'll do it here. Do that. Okay, so again, do it really slow. Think about what you're doing. Say to yourself here, oh, with my left hand, I'm going to put my second finger down. Second finger in the left hand. And coming down, think about the right hand. So right hand, second finger. Right hand, second finger. Okay, and then the last thing um, is the arpeggios. So for A flat major and D flat major. So with an arpeggio, we're spelling out the chord, the first note, the third note, the fifth note, and the octave. So I've rubbed out my A flat major, but I'll show you the D flat major. We're going to use the one, the three, the five, and the octave. Okay? One, So we get this sound, D flat major, I'll do that first. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna be spanning an octave. Now if you can't quite reach an octave, that's okay. You don't have to reach them at the same you don't have to play them at the same time. So you have to stretch from that note to that note. So don't worry if you can't do it in one hand span. Um your hand will grow and you will be able to eventually. Um, but for now, just really slowly and deliberately um, play those notes. It's just training your hand to feel those shapes. So I'm playing deliberately. I want to use that word again. D flat major. A flat major is the same. It's the same shape as well. We get that black, white, black, black um, shape. So it's A flat, C, E flat, A flat. So the same thing. Start on A flat. I'm using one, two, three, and five are the fingers I'm using. left hand I'm using five three two one um, it is of course possible to use other fingers um, but I think one of the reasons we tend not to use these fingers is that they're generally um, the weakest finger um, in that it's harder to be deliberate with that finger. It's not that it, you can't, you know, hook a heavy bag on there and carry something the same you can with any other finger. It's that the muscles here are harder to uh, control deliberately for that finger. And that's something that will come when you do more, um, play more pieces and do more scales and th those fingers will strengthen. But for the time being, and actually it's just, the way your hand is, the way everyone's hand is, these fingers are definitely the, the strong ones, you know. These can do um, a lot of independent things. This is why we use these ones the most. And the little finger is, um, is able to be deliberate as well because it's on the outside. This one just through uh, just the way that the muscles are connected for these two fingers. Um, this one is just not able to do what you want it to do as well as the other ones can, if that makes sense. I hope it does. So, so you might want to try out different fingers. It might feel more comfortable to use different fingers, but trust me, when you want to be deliberate, fingers here. 
Okay, that's all. Um, happy practicing. Um, and <laughs> I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.